What is good? What is good? It's Chris and we're back with Palmer Aquatics. My name's Chris and this is the fish tank chaos I call life. So today's video, I want to show you how to clean a fish aquarium without removing the fish. So let's find a fish aquarium that needs to be cleaned. And yes, this is an entertainment center with fish aquariums around it. Pretty crazy, right? So this is the tank we're going to be cleaning today. It's a 20 gallon tall. I will first state that when cleaning any fish aquarium, you should never remove the fish. I will repeat that. When you clean a fish tank, you should never have to remove the fish. You first want to start with getting yourself a gravel vacuum slash siphon. This is a hose with kind of like a pipe looking end on it. This is what we're going to use to be removing the water. Some of them pump into a bucket. Some of them pump into a sink. There's like 30 different kinds. This one has a little pump right here. Please excuse the little kids running around. I do have a daughter and the neighbor girl's over. So um, this is your chance while you're removing the water to also siphon some of the gravel slash sand and also to use a spray sponge or like a brush to kind of clean some of the algae off the decorations or the glass and yes this does seem a bit crazy but we're going to be doing all these things at once we're going to be removing the water using the siphon we're going to be also using the siphon to kind of clean the substrate while sucking out the debris and then when the water level lowers we're also going to be using a sponge or a brush to kind of clean decorations and also clean the glass but hear me out you should never have to remove your aquarium fish from the tank itself when cleaning it just because aquarium fish get super stressed out very easily and actually when they get stressed out they die very quickly because their immune systems are pretty weak and this is a it's a scary thing if you're going to be removing the fish and putting them in different water it's very scary because chances are your fish are going to die um, just think about like trying to transition your breathing air that you're breathing here on earth onto different air into a different like atmosphere that's the best example i can think of the fish do not want to be removed it actually takes the aquarium fish quite a long time to get used to the water in your tank so uh, when doing a water change, when removing the water, we don't want to remove too much because the more water we remove, the more we have to add and that new water kind of shocks them and it's just it's it's a scary process the best thing to do is remove about 30 percent of your aquarium water and then add the new water into your tank and yes you will hear people on the internet say man i changed 90 percent of the water and or i changed 60 percent of the water and my fish are great that's awesome but what they're doing is actually shocking their fish more than what they have to go through it's not necessary and yes different types of fish are a lot more tougher and more susceptible to larger water changes like if you have african cichlids a lot of people change 80 percent of the water and have no issues but if you have beta fish or like garamis or something more sensitive those large water changes could easily kill them and i do not advise doing that much of a percentage so to recap this what i'm doing is i'm using a gravel vacuum to kind of clean the substrate clean the debris what you kind of do is you aim that siphon hose or the tube into different areas of it and just clean what you have to because you'll see spots that build up and now what we're going to be doing is adding new water to the aquarium I have a separate hose in my house that I just use to fill aquariums. Some people use like hose spigots, some people use water changers. Uh, just fill up your aquarium to the best of your ability. I don't advise using a bucket because when you pour it in, it kind of like destroys the entire tank and the substrate and the decor. This is essentially how to clean your fish aquarium without removing the fish. And one more thing guys. When adding new aquarium water to your tank, do not forget dechlorinator. This is a huge deal. City water has chlorine and chloramines in it, and that can sometimes kill your fish. That's why we want to use dechlorinator. I have tons of videos on those as well. I'll throw some in the description box. I understand that I maybe made this look super simple, and you're probably thinking, hey man, how do I remove the water from my tank? How do I use a gravel vacuum, guys? I have videos on literally every single like aspect of fish tanks you could think of. So... Consider subscribing or just do a search in the YouTube search box on how to use like a gravel vacuum, a siphon, how to add new water, how to buy a water changer and set it up. I have videos on all that stuff. It's just really hard sometimes to make how-to videos when there's like 30 different products that you could use to do different things. So when trying to clean your fish aquarium, the hardest part is figuring out a good method to kind of like remove the water 
Um, like I was saying, I have kind of like a gravel vacuum with a pump on it. Um, there's really tons of different uh, things you can use. Some people just use a hose. Uh, I'm being honest, there's like 50 different products that you could use. Literally, all you have to do is remove the water from the tank and then clean the decorations. You leave the fish in the aquarium, guys. Do not remove the fish or I'm gonna freak out. Um, and then what you wanna do is only remove like 30% of the water and then add new water with dechlorinator. It's that simple. So hit up the comment section. Hopefully this video helped you. Um, sometimes it's really hard to gauge like what, what people are expecting or what they want to see. Hit up the comment section. I try to read all the comments and I do my best. So please subscribe to the channel and I love you guys.